Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to the third video covering the all new Unity GUI system introduced with Unity 4.6. So Unity 4.6 is still in a public beta, so to download it, please just head over to unity3d.com and you can download it there. Also, if you have any questions throughout this video, please just visit forum.brackies.com and ask a question here. Uh, I, among many other developers, are just waiting to, to answer your questions. Cool. So the topic of today's video is just going to expand a, a bit on what we did last. So the last video was pretty short and uh, I hopefully this one is going to be too. Um, we took a look at... Uh, making our buttons actually do something whenever we press them. And today we're simply going to do the same, but with sliders. So uh, how we can set up sliders to interact with our gameplay elements. So as always, I've opened up Unity, and I've created a very basic scene here. We simply have a, a main camera with a background. Then we have a, a cube, just a simple standard Unity cube. And then we have a uh, button, which we set up in the last video, and now I've also created a slider. And I've basically just let the slider be as is. I've just scaled it a bit and changed the, uh, the color of some of the elements just to make it fit. But other than that, it's completely um, uh, from fresh. I mean, nothing has changed here. So what we're gonna do is on my cube, I've created a script called rotate cube and it has a public variable called speed which is currently set to 30. So when we press play right now you can see that this cube rotates around the y-axis. And uh, if we go ahead and, and double click on the rotate cube script here to inspect it I can uh, show you just how simple this functionality actually is. So I've created a public float called speed and I've just defaulted it to 10. I've set it to 30 in the inspector. Then inside of the update function, I simply use the transform.rotate to rotate it around its local y-axis dependent on the speed, and then I multiply with time.delta time so that it's not going to be frame rate dependent. But what we are going to do is we are going to make our slider control the speed that it, uh, that it um, rotates with. So in order to do this, we are going to make a public void. So a public function that doesn't return anything. And let's call this adjust speed. And this is going to take a some uh, just a single argument. And we are just going to call this, um, let's see, this is already speed. So let's just call this new speed. And make sure to uh, set this as a type of float. So we're going to make a float called new speed. And then we are simply going to open up the function here. And inside of this, we are simply going to set our speed variable to be equal to new speed. And that's all we have to do inside of our script. So simply save this. Now we can head into the canvas. We can select our slider. We can go down here to the on value changed single. You can see that the list is currently empty. So let's hit the plus sign. Let's select the object. So I'm just going to find the cube. There it is. So once we've selected our cube, we can go ahead and select a function on that cube. And you will notice that it has both a game object uh, category. The transform component has a bunch of things. So does the mesh filter, the box collider, and the mesh renderer. But it also has our newly created script called rotate cube. And once we dig under this, you can see that it has some different static par uh, par parameters that we can uh, change. But it also has a dynamic float called adjust speed. So once we select this, it's actually going to work just like that. Now it's going to input the uh, value of the slider into this new speed variable, and then it's going to set the speed to that new float. So, uh, if we hit play right now, you will see that this is working, but it's rotating extremely slowly. It's simply going between 0 and 1, and that's not really something we want. So in order to change this, let's set the max value to maybe 200, just for fun. 
and the minimum value, we're just going to keep that as at zero. But right now, our default value is set to one. So in order to change this, we're just going to use the slider to change our default value. And I'm just going to default this to 30 as I did before. So now when we hit play, you can see that it rotates as before, but we can now control the speed that it rotates with using this slider. And that's super fun. So uh, you could of course also go negative 200 here if you wanted it to rotate in the opposite direction. Uh, you can see that our slider changes accordingly, and now we can rotate in both directions. So that's the basics of editing scripts uh, or editing values based on a normal UI slider. It's simply that easy. And in here, we can, of course, do all kinds of different stuff. We can change the color of objects. We can change the loudness of music. Whatever you want to do, simply using this basic formula with a public function, a name, you input a float, take a float as an argument, and then you do something based on that float. So that was basically it for this video. I actually managed to keep it uh, pretty short. So that's a, a record almost. So thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.